Hello, dear Odoers. In the last video, we created our own real estate app from scratch. In this video, we'll continue to build our app by adding fields to our model so that it fully meets our needs. We'll need to know if a property is for sale or for rent, who the owner is and their contact information, as well as what type of property it is. Let's get into it. Let's access our real estate application and open studio. Since we need to gather a lot of information on properties, we will switch to the form view and create new fields there. Then we can easily reuse those fields on other views later. First, let's add a field to check whether the property is for rent or for sale. The best option here would be to use a selection field. Define the values for rent or for sale. Confirm and change the label to rent or sell. Now let's add the relation to the contact model so we can define the property's owner. For that, as you should already know if you watched the video on relational fields, we need to add a many to one field. So let's add one in this tab, select a many to one that you can simply drag and drop and select the target model, which will be a contact in this case and confirm we'll rename it to owner. I will also make this field required to make sure that people have to fill in a value every time they create a property. Would I be able to create new contacts from the real estate app? Of course. As you can see here, we can disable the creation of new records from this view if you want to, but the checkbox is not selected by default. Okay, great. And could we also display the, their email address and their phone number? Sure. Since you already added a relational fields linked to the contact model, we can add any fields from that model to a properties model using related fields. Let me first move the owner to the right so that we gather all their information in one place. Now, let's add their email by selecting a related field and choosing that we want to see the owner. Click the right arrow and their email. You can confirm and make sure to relabel it to email. We will do the exact same thing for the phone by drag and dropping the related field, selecting the owner and specifying that we want to see their phone displayed. I will rename it once again and this is a great reminder to always check the widgets because we actually do have a phone widget available here. Perfect. Now let's maybe add a field so we can select the type of property. To do so, I will select a selection field and specify the options, which could be a house in this case, an apartment, maybe land as well, and offices. I will confirm and name it property type, whoops, property type, great. Finally, let's add a multi-line text field for the address so we can have enough room if the address is too long. I will select the multi-line text here and simply renaming address. Could we remove the Kanban state button? That way, our employees can only change the stage in the Kanban view. Absolutely. You can simply select the field, it opens the Properties tab, and at the bottom you can always remove any field from the view. All right, let's close Studio and test what we've done so far. I will create our first property here, that will be our charming house in Brussels. The value is 500,000. It is obviously for sale and it's a house. The address is 123 Happy Street in 1000 Brussels. And we'll save it. Right, I forgot to fill in the owner here because we made it mandatory before, so we'll fix that right away. Now, I still need to add a few more simple fields, so I'll do that off screen and I will see you in the next video. Back to you in the studio.